Hi, this is Tim Henderson from Colorful Colorado. Just gotta know, what's the deal with Spiel? Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel and I want to introduce you to my 1963 Stella acoustic guitar. Uh, I've had this for several years. I've written about it in Guitar World magazine. And it's basically sat in my basement uh, for several years waiting to be worked on. I've been talking about this new workbench I got and every night I've been coming down here and it's my happy place. I sit here and I work on instruments. I pick up a guitar that maybe needs repaired, maybe just needs a new set of strings, uh, some lemon oil to the neck, whatever. And it is where I just come out to chill. So I've recently done that with this Stella Acoustic. Now this is a 1963 Stella, most likely sold at Sears or other department stores. The body is made of solid birch, the neck is poplar, the floating bridge is birch, and the original nut was birch. Now, I have replaced the nut, I have done a lot of other things, and I used a bunch of CB Giddy parts. I do want to thank CB Giddy for their support, and I'm very happy to go through all the different things that I've done to this guitar to make it even more amazing. <laughs> these hardwood nut and saddle blanks from CB Giddy and I got the maple ones. I'm guessing that the maple won't chip as much as other wood and it's basically the same height which saves me a lot of time. I'm gonna cut it down so it's the same width as original Stella nut. I'm gonna mark it, I'm gonna shape it a little on my belt sander and install it on my guitar. And here's the final nut after I installed it and used some nut files to slot it correctly. The next thing I wanted to do was clean up the frets. Now these frets are made of brass, so I got these CB Giddy fret filing guards and some quad aught steel wool. I didn't want to file these frets down, I'm still learning how to do fret work. So I just used the filing guards and the steel wool and cleaned the frets up. Took a little time for each one, but it took this dull 60 year old fretboard into a screaming, gleaming, beautiful fretboard with just gorgeous brass frets. Look at that. This is a 1963 Stella. It's not worth a lot of money. It's not like a big collector guitar. So I can have fun changing out certain parts because uh, this guitar is for me. This is something that I want to play. So I got these beautiful Perloid parlor style open gear tuners from CB Giddy. Look at the antique Perloid look to it. Well, I made a mistake. When I ordered, I got the six in a line, six right, and I needed three right and three left because you should always have the gear facing down towards the body so instead of returning them all I'm gonna do and I've already done it to two of these already is I'm gonna take this apart being that it's an open gear tuner if I take it apart here and I want to take this screw off and let me do it right down here so I don't lose any parts take this screw off and I have the shaft here and the plate. Now you need to watch because the shaft has a tiny little rubber gasket and you don't want to lose that. So the plate needs to go this way. So the whole idea 
to get this tuner to go on the other side is simply take this part off and turn it around. That's all you need to do. And then put the shaft back on with the gear. Now this type of thing won't work with sealed gear tuners because you can't take them apart. But these open gear tuners, as long as they uh, have little C-clamp area to hold the tuning button, it'll work. Now these old Stella tuners here, they're all sealed in. You really can't take them apart. But something, but something like this from CB Giddy, I can switch it around. When I put it on here, it is the right way. All I need to do is screw this in, and I got a beautiful new set of tuners. One of the last things I wanted to do to my Stella is replace the old plastic pick guard. Now these pick guards were usually just screwed on. So I got this Perloid self-stick pick guard material. This is coming soon, real soon, to cbgiddy.com. And what I did was I traced the old pick guard onto the Perloid and cut it out with scissors and put it on the guitar. This stuff is so easy to work with. Yeah, just a pair of scissors and I could cut it out. I used a little sandpaper to round the edges, but there it is. Look how beautiful. This has been a fun, fun project. So I've got my Stella all done, the new pick guard. I got the new tuners on there, the new nut. I also spent a lot of time polishing the body. That's one of the things that I enjoy at night. Everybody's in bed, I'm still awake. I'm down here, go to my workbench, and I just polish the guitar, clean things up. These frets are nice and bright now. <laughs> Brass frets are as bright as this slide. This is the edge slide from stubbyslide.com. You know I had to mention it. This is to approximate the old pocket knives used as slides by Blind Willie Johnson, Mance Lipscomb, and a lot of the other old blues guys. Uh, this just has a totally different playability, totally different sound. A fun project so there you go you know what it's yard sale season spring is here uh, look for these guitars just solid birch tops to them there's a mid-range sound to them that is completely blue <laughs> strings on this guitar from CB Giddy. Above my workbench I have a whole bunch of bulk strings from Giddy and they're in the caddies, the wooden string caddies that CB Giddy sells. To learn more about Stella Guitars, check out StellaGuitars.com. It's a great resource online. And to get the parts you need that I used on here, go to CBGiddy.com, CBGiddy.com. And this has been What's the deal with Spiel? Ah, uh, Silky, you have a good weekend. Got these hardwood nut and saddle blanks from CB Giddy. And I got the maple ones, the maple ones. The maple kind, yeah. yeah.